Hello and welcome to the NASCAR Xfinity Series. We are here in B Open at Indy. We're doing some Indy Oval racing here today. I think it's at the Legacy version. Uh, I don't know if you can even see it here, but uh, if I remember correctly, that's what it is. We've got our OSR qualifying setup in, and uh, we'll have the race setup for the race. Don't know how fast I'm feeling. I'm still getting back into the swing of things. My second race since taking about three weeks off because of illness. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try not to uh, overdrive my uh, myself here and cause myself problems. Uh, we are the number two car, but I would... Uh, I don't quite expect a P2 finish. Top 5 would even just be fantastic if I could even manage that. Um, just want to try to have ourselves a clean race here today. That's the main goal. Right now the goal is try to qualify the best we can. As I get a not great run to the line. Not uh, not too great at Indy, usually, I feel like. Green flag, green not my flag. greatest place, okay, probably, but first time black. we'll see what we can do. Through we'll turn one, okay. Uh, cut down a little bit early into two, I think. Of course, here really what you want to do is get those runs through the corner, get uh, as much speed as you can down these long straightaways. Easier said than done, though. That's not too bad. Now something I did notice uh, while practicing, the uh, temperatures get pretty molten hot by lap two. Hopefully our car survives until the end of this lap. We'll see. Four, and that's probably going to drop quite a bit, so... We'll see if we can get anything extra out of it this next lap. I was underdriving it, I believe, especially considering uh, the speed I just carried out of two. I think uh, during practice I was practicing on a well-used track and the speed the slowed down a little bit, so on. having gotten used to that, I'm under driving here and qualifying. We'll see if we can bring it back here on lap two, though. We've got a couple extra tents, it looks like. We also need this engine to not explode. Alright, about two tents up. Come on, car, survive. Look at those temperatures. They're molten hot. Volcano. Okay, we can Daryl Wall trip it now. Go again. <laughs> Hit the detonate. We won the All-Star Race. We can detonate the engine now. Oh my gosh, this qualifying was not great. We are ninth right now. That's okay. Like I said, I don't think I'm doing too great. But uh, I did watch Nick's race with this combo. It went caution-free, if I remember correctly. So hopefully we can look forward to some of that ourselves. And that also means we're going to want to qualify, or not qualify, but practice a green flag pit stop, which I'm going to do right here. The engine has held on very nicely. Appreciate that car. Watch your speed. Yeah, baby did a little bit too much. But rather uh, underdo it than overdo it, I guess. They don't give out penalties for entering too slowly. <laughs> That'd be kind of bad. So where are we at? Pretty much one of the slowest cars. That's okay. We're going to put the race setup in. Here we are. Race setup. And then I'm going to change to 12 to 1 because that's my preference. Not changing anything else. That is not muted. Yeah, look at that. A whole second faster the, leaders, the leader is. I was going to say leaders, but... Leader is kind of uh, in their own zip code here. Almost half a second faster than the next person. So they are looking pretty strong. As the number one car often should. Number two car you would think would do a little bit better. But here I am in 10th right now. A lot of people not qualifying. Looks like. Or maybe had mistakes. Easy to hit the wall. So that could have been the case as well. 
And uh, not too much longer before we get going. Five more seconds. And we will start heading to the track. The engine temperatures are looking better now. That's the end of the session. Oh, we get put to the inside right at the last second. I'm actually quite thankful for that. I'd much rather be on the inside. All right, 60 laps here to prepare for. And uh, we can just One make it past halfway. Not too much room. Not too much wiggle room there. The estimated strength of field is 2,580. Station last lap. Yeah, stick the field 2.5k. <laughs> Allegedly fighting for podium, but like I said, not so sure about that one. Gotcha. I anticipate that uh, the the uh, tire wear could trend to the right rear, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Could get looser. I'm just hoping we can uh, keep it clean. Hopefully no one's smacking the wall right in front of us. We're causing a big stack up here in the early laps. That could be a big issue if that happens when everybody's on top of each other. And then maybe we'll start, um, you know, spreading out a little bit. I think a top 10 would be fine. I'd be okay with that. Not looking for too much. We'll lose uh, I rating most likely out of this one. I think even if I get a top five, I'll probably lose I rating. If I get like fifth, check, check. but that's okay. No one, no one really cares about that, gotcha. right? <laughs> Thank you. Everyone getting prepared. Speaking of Indianapolis, Indy, IndyCar's back on I racing. That's pretty cool. Um, after big surprise, Motorsports Games turned out to not be a great three. place to make video games. Have a good ride. Can't believe it. Truly a shock to everybody. <laughs> but, uh, the, track temp is one. the future for the temp is racing uh, 60. Yeah, video brand. games is probably a little bit brighter. Hey, given that, that iRacing will be apparently taking control of the next NASCAR game. In the inside lane. And I think I'd trust uh, iRacing more than just about anyone else to put together a racing game. So that's pretty exciting. I will absolutely be playing that whenever it comes out. I haven't played anything except for iRacing on my channel here, but um, I can guarantee you I'll be playing that when it comes out, so long as uh, like early reviews don't come in and say, like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Then maybe I'll be like, oh, I don't know if I want to give money, but like I, I'd like to think that iRacing can do a good job. And we can finally get a really good NASCAR video game. But like I have a capture card and stuff I could uh, even use if I end up getting like a console version of it or something. I'll probably just go with the PC though. PC version of the game. I have a capture card that I've actually never used that I should probably use at some point. But for now we are on iRacing on the PC and racing at Indianapolis and the Xfinity car. Yeah, cool. I think he quit the league. I remember him at the beginning of the season, but I don't remember him near the end. I wonder if I should be trying yeah, to save fuel right now. he was real time over in England. In fact, he was, I think he was like rookie of the year over there. No idea. Oh, dang. Try to get a good jump. All right, good luck, everybody. That blue car up there in the lead, it's pretty easy to see, that's good. Color-wise, we'll see if we can actually see him through the crowd. Probably not, actually. Maybe peek over here, yeah. Right, we got restart zone, so we just wait for green anyway, don't we? Is that not a thing anymore? I don't know. But we're going. And we're right on the nine's tail, so we will back off just a little bit. Don't want to run them over in the first corner. That would be bad for him. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear. Get single file. That's good. That's kind of what I wanted to see. We're going to be heading into this corner real fast, given this 
train of draft. We'll make sure we back it down. Look, the nine maybe overdrove it a bit. Or maybe I just underdrove it. I've already proven that I uh, am plenty capable of underdriving and qualifying, so that wouldn't be too surprising. It'd be kind of nice to stay in this draft, so maybe I should pick up the pace just a tiny bit. Nine's going to the spot, maybe. He's looking, at least. You're in the top ten position. Oh, that got loose. There's more ev evidence that uh, we might be looking at right rear wear. It's definitely driving in harder than I am. It's just instinct for me to not want to kill the right front on entry, but I guess if uh, the threat is that we're going to get on the right rear, maybe it wouldn't be so bad to even them out more. Who knows? Just trying to be steady. I'm barely just hanging onto the draft. Is that a puff of smoke I just saw? Someone in the wall in the straightaway, maybe? How oh, weird. Maybe that was just my eyes playing a trick on me. Got behind, catching up a little bit. I feel like I'm just pretty slow. We'll let the 7 by. If he goes for it without much issue, you can lose a ton of time driving side by side here. Probably need to be more aggressive through these corners, especially like two and four. It seems like I could carry a lot more speed than I do. I just feel slow, man. I don't know. They're, I'm just watching them drive away, and I don't feel like I'm missing my marks too bad. But clearly, I uh, must be under driving or something. That lap time was 53.4. Is that guy going for the pass? No, not quite. Okay, Looks like maybe he got loose or something behind us because he was right on us. Is he trying to pass on the outside at Indy? That's kind of crazy. I don't know about that one. Really, I'm too slow for him though because he's all over us. Well, that's one way to heat up the right rear. Clear inside. Car inside. Oh my god, what are you doing, dude? Diving it in. You're reeling, Pierce. The gap is now 0.2. Did not expect him to try to do that. Maybe one at a time. I try to dive in from like three car lengths back when I'm trying to just let the seven by me and then hit the corner. That was a fifty-three point seven.
Car feels good, I guess, if I am underdriving. Hopefully that'll be good for tire wear, at least. Probably not, though. I'm probably just going to continue being slow. Got a hint of draft from the 7 still. 24 is kind of coming up on us. Steer a little bit. It's going to be important not to hit the walls either. Mess up our aerodynamics when you're uh, on the gas for so long here on these fast straightaways. Don't want to be holding out the parachute even a little bit. Want to keep the car in good shape for sure. up there maybe or just a move out of the corner p11 right now right where we started uh-oh is this guy running out of the back of me yeah, see the wreck I guess <sighs> I was even like going faster than I wanted to be going too because I knew he was behind me and he still ran in the back of me. You can't look ahead, man. Thankfully only a 2x. But uh got to look beyond the bumper in front of you, man. JD, how bad does back my car look? We're under caution. Pits are closed. This car is out. Line up six. Uh, this is yeah, interesting. You got some right side Zero. and right rear quarter damage, and your back end is just completely hazed out. We've got damage on the back end. Oh, Check good. We got uh, damage on the back uh, end. Thank you, fine, guy, for running into me. On your left side, good, but your right. I guess we'll come in for tires. Hard. We only got three sets, Thank but. You. Indy can tend to go green, and at least we'll be able to fix the damage that we were so graciously given. I'm sorry that happened to you. I didn't obviously see it, but uh, I'm just riding around the back trying to increase eye rating. You driving my setup, JD? Yes, sir. I uh, did the second one we talked about, and then I did a little adjustment with the... We'll fill the fuel up, um, check the tires, bar, fix the damage. The looseness, uh, on the right rear. And, uh, I don't know how many people are going to come in. Up to a 14. Probably not I many. I feel like I'm too vulnerable to losing it. Or over oversteering too much. Or bringing it down. So I went to 14. I guess the more I do it, I can go down to the 12. I like 14. Well, what will end up happening is if you go to 12, you'll get more uh, sensitivity around center, but it'll force you to drive a better line, otherwise you'll burn your right front off. Oh, well, everyone's coming in. Hey, Colin, you're uh, right here about this for a couple of minutes. lane speed limit is 60 miles per hour. Yeah, I know. Hopefully, uh, I'm hoping to get it fixed here. Appreciate it. Yeah, well, 10, 5, 3, 2, 1, right here. Alright, what's the damage? 24.9. It's early enough in the race, I think maybe we want to go ahead and fix that. What are the tires? 96, 90, 92? Really on that no, right If they've ever followed me into the pits, man, that's kind of a... D bag move. I thought we were also uh, gonna I don't think right. we want to fix all that damage. Get stuff different everywhere you should go. Some people going 45. They want you to fix a little bit of it. I kind of changed my mind though. I didn't want to lose Your all my track there. position with only 24 seconds. Well, I had a guy on my left. I don't think it'll be bad enough. Upon me. I was trying to make it fit, but it didn't fit. That we uh, are going to be too bad. Hopefully, I'm not wrong. I think we'll lose one spot, maybe it looks like, or maybe we gained one. Everyone. You didn't get any X's out of it, did you? 
Just we lost one to the 17. I think damage. we gained one. We might still be in the same spot. Still nowhere close on fuel. It's are open. Wonder what'll Eight happen. Four, I'll say my tire wear is kind of even across the board there. With that Wonder what the uh, will happen to the handling on. with some rear end Ready damage. On. One to go. Nick Thankfully, it's not too much. Yeah, mine is uh, was 93 and 93. Yeah, 93 right front, 95. Still the same right damage there. on the back but end. I've been saving it, man. I'm just riding around out back. So. We're actually ninth place. That's we gained why. some spots while waiting a second to fix but the damage. It's all even across. That's interesting. That's what I like to see. Maybe a little higher on the outside. So we got Arca braked a little bit, but they got yeah, it worse than on this one, we did. Right so we can't complain too much. Twenty-four-ish seconds of damage. I'm glad I decided to just head out though instead of fix it all because I think it'd be really tough to make it all the way back up here. You could change that by increasing the pressure a little bit. I guess we uh, gained some spots too because there was a wreck <laughs> after all, so that makes sense. Yeah, I got you. Alright man, well good luck to you man. Stay Let's up see front. how this goes. Getting it restarted. After 12 laps. Get ready, going green. Post car is off, time to do your job. I can't see. He's not going in front of us, I see. Hold on to us. Might actually clear us, he will. Alright, we'll file in. Alright, he goes quite hard into the corner. Not expect to get to his inside there, but it sure did happen. I really am under driving. Someone getting loose up there. I don't know. What are we doing? Guys running up into the back of me in 17s, just not going through the corner. I cannot run the other. Car okay. inside. Still there, hold your line. No worries. Okay, high. Okay, high. He's losing it. Still there at the bottom. Just gonna pass him on the outside then, I guess. That was a whole bunch of people tripping over each other. Speed 
Yellow flag and another yellow. Alright. Obviously can't right. come in again. Nine, yeah. Much too soon. What the hell did you hit your brakes for? That time it was behind us. I was checking up. I was up his ass. What the hell you want me to do? Run him over? But thank you. Uh, you can't go around them and then you can pass them afterwards. You're not going to get penalized if you run past them for a split second. Alright, so something happened behind us. Sounds like more Arca breaks too, potentially. Based on some of the complaints I heard. They are P8. I don't know if the outside actually is still bad. Because that's how we got around the guys that were having issues. It seems like our restarts, the inside lane has not actually been that great. Pit road's open. Pits are open. But that could just be, uh... The people who happen to be in front of us. I don't see anyone coming in again here. That would be surprising to me. The people faking it out, but nothing for real. Would have been nice to get some more damage fixed, but not at the expense of the track position I have. Especially if they're going to be wrecking back there. Pit road is closed right now. We're under caution. Pit's closed. Ooh, it's windy outside. Sounds like we got some winter weather coming this weekend here in Missouri. Just heard a big gust of wind outside. Hopefully the the uh, electricity stays on. That would be bad. I like that these cautions are pretty quick. Already two to grand, gonna be one to grand coming up. I'm a fan of that. Get back racing. And we'll see how this outside lane works this time. Should be able to get a better view of the leader too. Will help. Tires should still be feeling pretty fresh. We would need to make it to about lap 36, I think. No, that's not right. Lap 26, 26 I think, is what I'm thinking of here. If we wanted to make it uh, on fuel. So that's a number we'll have to think about. So I think a full tank gives us about 34 laps. Definitely has not been a caution-free race. Only two so far, but two more than uh, the race I watched. So a different dynamic here. One to go. Next time by. You're on the outside this We're time. Next, Next time by. Seven. We're on go. the outside this time. Be following the seven. Someone coming out of the pits, did they make it out in time, or are they going to have to let us all go? They look like they cut it close, at the very least. I think they're having to let everybody go. They probably let, they exited a uh, closed pit, probably. Hopefully they don't end up stopping on the track, and we can get going. Not even halfway here. In fact, we are not even a third of the way. Bit of a long event here shaping up to be. Or maybe I'm just not used to it since I've been away for a bit. These open races being a little longer. Not 
entire span, it doesn't seem like. So I, I don't know, I guess did they get rid of the restart zones? Because I don't think the guy's been using the restart zone. Unless I uh, just have missed it. Going green. But the initial start, I swear, uh, he went before the green came out, so... The ice car is in. I wonder why they removed that, potentially. Green flag, green flag. Good jump. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear. Inside. Stay high. Still there, hold your line. I'm gonna hold on pretty good on the outside. I actually liked that quite a bit. Still there, inside. Stay high with the car on the low side. Yeah, I like this outside line. I'd much prefer that. That surprises me, but maybe it shouldn't. Hopefully I didn't pinch too bad. Hey Colton, what a restart, man. I'm surprised how much I liked that outside lane. You're in fifth, he's on it. Alright. Hey, that's a good sign if you're getting compliments from the uh, competition, right? I just gotta not make a fool of yourself and keep it consistent. Get some laps. I think he'll probably uh, come back to us though, because we haven't been all that fast. Truth be told, maybe we're more of a short run car here today. Our lap time was 53.0. Oh, I missed the turn in there. That was kind of ugly. Brought it back a little bit, but still not the uh, angle I wanted on that corner. Unfortunately, watching that top four get away from us a bit still. I always feel like I'm the, the slowest of a group, unfortunately. I feel like I'm holding people up, but maybe that's just not the case. Slide up into the wall, you doofus. I got kind of close to doing it there. I guess the rear end damage isn't affecting us too bad, if at all. It's a bit of a relief. Yeah, those guys are they're just uh just a tick faster up there. They're just continuing to uh, pull away a little bit. Seven holding even with us at least. Might have to let the 7 by. I think he is faster. They're snaking down the uh, back stretch here, but I don't think I'm fast enough to uh, make that happen. Let him on by. Don't waste our time too much. Back into his draft. Restarts are great but uh, kind of helps if you can keep it. 
We're still P6 though, that's very much acceptable. I'm very happy with that. Doing better than I thought I would. With a little bit of benefit from some guys ahead of us wrecking earlier. Really love to stay in this guy's draft as much as I can. Not looking like it's going to happen though. He's pulling away a little bit. You're jumping all over the place, buddy. Your connection's been pretty terrible the whole race. Just giving you a heads up, man. I said my name at first. I got me a little worried. For Thank a second, you. But sorry no, about that. In the middle of a storm here, sorry. Maybe I gotta watch mine too, though, because we've got a storm yeah, coming up. It sounds to the like outside. Thunderstorms everywhere. I'm in a I feel like we've got short run them. pace today and not much else, as we just cannot seem to hang on past the first handful of laps. Well, then I don't know what you got going on. But we're Nine's to coming up on us now. Second time this week. The forecast for the Steelers' Bill playoff game is 65 mile an hour gust of wind and up to a foot of snow. Makes sense. That's what we're getting today. At least we got a gap behind the nine. So if he gets alongside us, we'll just let him by like we did the seven. I hope that he's patient though, it doesn't just dive it in. It always makes me a little bit nervous whenever guys start peeking to the inside like that the other car length back. Yeah, I got it. I swear I'm not gonna make it hard on I'm you. I'm not man. gonna try to block you, get it, man. you get up here, you get around us. Just get the nose on me. Just let me know. We will negotiate. No, you're oh, you got loose there though. That's yeah, going to give us a little bit more time to, to ourselves. Uh, you're not going to get any rating unless you get there in the top 12 at least. Sixth place. Unless you're going for safety. No, I got safety rating. I'm just trying to get I rating. I rating is improved by having a good finish, like higher towards the front of the field. Safety rating is improved by having a clean race. Man, it stinks just watching these guys drive away from me. I don't know what I can do differently either. And it's not, I can't blame my damage because I was already watching people drive away from me earlier in the race. As much as I would like to blame my damage. Yeah, they were wrong. You got I could be wrong or maybe they misunderstood. So that's my understanding of it. I mean, I got an A499. I'm not trying to get my I rating up. Driving in the back is fine if it's a crash track where it got in the lock of the wreck out. I finished the way I finished. I'm gonna have to... What's your door number, JD? Any I rating? Oh, uh, six different well, conversations happening right, right now. No, I'm in the back. Finish higher than your number. Copy that. You gotta beat those numbers that are low. Yeah, that's a good rule of thumb. <laughs> Everyone's talking over each yeah. other. Well, that's what I always thought. Beat your number. Because I used to qualify, and I would qualify really well, and then I'd end up falling back with you guys that know how to dial in your setups. And then Corey started helping me, so... I don't want to qualify, I just want to finish clean and gain I rating. I had a 499 for a long time. That just gave me a... Running clean will help you. I don't know when yeah, we pit after everything that's happened. Do we just go long and hope they don't wreck? Kind of awkward. Because we can't make it. But you don't want to put yourself a lap down and f before caution comes out either. Oh, we got someone loose up ahead. It's seven.
Man, I'm bummed. They're so far away up there. Wait for me. I want to race too. The car's definitely loose. Doing my best to kind of fight it. According to Race Lab here, in order to gain I rating, apparently we need to finish top five because P6 right now it's estimating a loss of seven I rating. I'm showing you losing 23 right now. Since the race chat's talking about I rating, I'll report what I'm seeing there. But uh, as for me personally, I'm thrilled with where I am right now. I'm doing better than I thought I would. Yikes. What are you using to see that? Race lab. Thank you. Okay, Colton. The pit window is now open. Okay. Pit window is well, now like open, according to the crew chief. I think we were actually there a little bit earlier, but we're at the halfway point. now for sure. Halfway point. It's on my Q-bar a little bit. I wish I didn't. Just a tiny bit though. Hopefully that's not going to be an issue. Been able to hold off the 9. And uh, we're actually gaining on P8 back there. So I think we're good on that front. I'm trying to take a wider run through these corners to help fight that loose feeling. I think when I take it more shallow and put more wheel into it is whenever it gets harder to control, so... Maybe there's a little bit cooler track up higher as well, which could help. Man, the dynamic track has been really cool. I've really enjoyed uh, how, the, how that has uh, affected the racing. Get out, Ryan. Get out. Being able to say, like, yeah, drive out a little farther where the track's cooler. Get some more grip. That's a, a cool thing to be able to think about and attempt to do see whether it works or not I remember uh, racing here whenever dynamic track had uh, first come out I don't remember what car it was in maybe the Arca car or the Gen 4 people were driving a lane up thank you 10 car appreciate it here at Indy and it was working really well can't remember what car Hello, that was Michael Davis. You checked up hard in front of me two hours on you. What the hell do you want me to do? Well, you had plenty of room behind me, man. You didn't have to run me over. I I saw you had plenty of room. It's called lifting off the gas or using a little brake. Or you can you can use another lane too. Very by angry. the way. As I take that corner a bit too wide. Don't have much grip. Not a great one and two for me, unfortunately. Oh, someone has dropped out. I don't think that guy yeah, was in front of me, though. So no free spot for us. Jeez. That's a bummer. It looks like he's coming back. I wish these cars in front of me would come back to me a little bit, but they are continuing to pull away, I think. They are just uh, one step above us on speed, I guess. But hey, for qualifying in, uh, what was it, 11th to be in P6, not bad at all. That's moving forward. Haven't hit the wall yet. Emphasis on yet, but I haven't. I uh, carried too much speed through the mid corner there. I was hoping it would stick. Did not, though, so we won't be trying that again.
there in the four car, Cale McClenny. I think that's Cabe's brother. Never talked to him before, uh, but I really recognize the name. JD? Cabe, of course, we've had some great races with uh, in the league races. And I think we've had a couple official races against each other, too, maybe, in the past. Sorry about it, 23. Sorry. And about a second behind us. We actually did gain on the cars ahead just a tiny, tiny bit. I didn't mean to make it that close, 23. Ugh. A little bit too shallow and got on the gas. Super loose. One fun, that's funny. Looks like we were both going to give the other one the corner there. When do we pit? I think our tires are about as easy. I don't trust these guys to stay green, to be honest. We've already had two cautions, and they're talking about, oh, oh didn't mean to make it that close. And there were some guys arguing earlier. I feel like we could definitely get another caution. Then again, we are pretty spread out at this point. So you can move it that way, too. Let's see what the rest of the field does as well. We can adjust. Still holding even at about one second behind us. Keeping it pretty even in front of us as well at about three seconds. That lap was at 55.4. Sure is loose though. Even trying to do that uh, wider entry is kind of tough here because as soon as I start turning my wheel, it feels like it's kind of sliding out from under me. It's like a magician pulling the tablecloth and all the glasses and tableware stay on the table. It's the car sliding out from under me. Ta da! I spun out. Isn't that a great trick? How are your tires, JD? Coming in a little earlier could definitely get us some, uh, much better some that time, time back. I was 76, we got some people ahead, man. So I'm still We're not my right front, but not the right rear, at least. So wait just a little bit longer before you get on the gas. The captain Harris behind is yeah, I can't put two seconds. That's interesting. We're talking about getting on the right front. Yeah, I definitely don't think I'm getting on my right front. Key here. I uh, didn't after that first run, and I don't think I'm doing it now. Ryan, I'm not going to fight you. Take the bottom. Saw at the wheel a little bit on these exits. Is that someone pitting up ahead? No. Looked like he was heading low. I think that was just my angle, though. Do we come in soon? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to gain enough on the guys ahead for that to matter. Not uh, once things kind of yeah, even out no by the problem. end. I used to be at 499 too. I only got about seven laps of fuel left. Take the bottom. Hmm. It's not really feeling all that bad though. It's almost kind of felt like it's kind of evened out a little bit better for me. Or maybe I'm just in the rhythm. But we've gained behind us, lost a little bit more in front of us. We're kind of on our own island. JD, I'm still a little bit loose off. On exit both sides. That's in both sides of the track. 
gap to Harris behind is now 1.6. I think we just have to react to the people around us. We're not going to catch the guys ahead even with a better pit stop, I don't think. I think that three seconds plus is just too much to overcome. We're gaining on the guys behind right now. We don't have to really worry about them catching us necessarily, so I think uh, the position we're in right now, we just want to react to the guys around us. Like if the guys behind pit, I'll probably come in next time. I'm going to let you buy a 21. Alright. This could get a little Thank awkward. You, He's up to speed, we're fine. Get a little free draft. Get a free loose race car. That was dumb of me, but I kept my foot in it. I was just like, you know what, we're just gonna we're gonna keep on it. <laughs> the car in front is pitting. We got some more people ahead pitting. What's the nine behind us doing? Pitting. All right, so we're gonna pit the next time through. The car behind is pitting. That You're seems fair. Four laps of fuel left. P5. You have about five laps of fuel left. The car inside, still there at the bottom. Clear. Okay, that made me nervous because I was pretty sure he was on the apron, but it was calling it like he was on the racing surface next to me. I'm going to be pitting in this lap, 23. Roger that, thank you. Figure out, let him know, because he's going to be catching me real quick. The lead is pitting now. The car ahead's pitting. Watch us pitting in the pits. Okay, I'll take it a little bit soft, but... Get to the pits. I'm gonna put all the fuel in it, cause why not? Pit box Tires in. are checked. Boris is now leading. Five, three, two, you got about one. Four laps of fuel right left. here. Slide past the box. That's optimal. We can repair most of the damage. Don't repair the jam damage, but this is 7157. Jesus Christ. You want to slide past your box so that way you keep your uh, tire changers honest. Okay, punch it. Gotta let them know they gotta watch out. Keep them on their toes. The adrenaline flows, and then they uh, do faster pit stops. That's why you do that. Don't wreck myself on pit exit. I may or may not have done that before. The leader, Boris, is pitting. Oh, he's spinning on pit exit. Oh my god. We're good though. He's out of the way. That will not be a caution. So the 9 will overtake us because of our bad stop and his uh, slight undercut. That's okay. We will persevere. We get by the guy that uh, had the pit exit mistake. Someone in the pits right now too. Did they have a penalty? Interesting. I think we might have had some penalties mixed in there a little bit, perhaps. Got 2.7 back to the guy behind us, and he's on older tires, so I don't think we have to worry about them. Nobody on newer tires that I can see right now. Hey Anthony, you can take the position if you want it, bud. The captain, Harris, ahead is now. We still got some more laps to go. We still have 16 coming to the line here.
It is kind of nice to be able to just run my line here and not worry about guys around me. Wish I didn't make that mistake, because I think we would have been closer to the guy ahead, but other than that, I don't think it made much of a difference. See if we're catching the nine. He is on one lap older tires, but I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. He is getting a little bit of draft now, unfortunately, from that 12. moment it's looking like he is pulling away from us. So we might be seventh place now after our mistake, but only one spot lost, not too bad. That was a uh, 53.4. And who knows what could happen? Maybe we get a uh, oh, a wall hit from him, for example. <laughs> or we could get an, uh, a late restart, you never know. Cool that we did get some green flag pit stops, though, even though I messed it up. I have a good excuse. I'm out of practice. First green flag pit stop in a while. And I was not really particularly good at, uh, at those to begin with, so, you know. I think I just have to start aiming for the box behind my box. And then when I inevitably overshoot it, then I just land in the correct box. There, that's big brain thinking. P7, your last lap time was at 53.5. I'm trying to catch the guy ahead. The He's running pretty good laps, though. Seconds. He hit the wall and lost a chunk of time, but... The leader, Other than that, he's been doing fine. Oh, we had a, the leader still out. Where are they gonna end up cycling? I didn't realize that. I'm pretty impressed with how far they made it. They must have been saving fuel, maybe? Yeah, I think it's the 14 in pit road right now. Hey, look at that. We're gonna be back in sixth place. Okay. You've just done a 53.6. Well darn, I could have had a uh, top 5 if I didn't mess up the green flag pit stop then. there. At least we don't have to worry about anyone behind us. I think we're good back there. Still no one that has fresher tires than I do. Maybe the guy had to make some more mistakes, like hit the wall. If I want a chance at him, I think. See, he's got some more draft, though, all of a sudden. Not sure where the 20 came from. Maybe this will hold him up. I think it did a little bit. 
two seconds ahead with ten to go. That's quite a lot to make up. To go. By. Let's see what happens. We will get some draft for a moment. We can't get held up either. Outside. Hopefully he backs out for us. He does. Clear outside. He's cool for doing that. That lap time was 54.2. Hey Chase, go inside. Chase, go inside. Inside. Chief. Chief, sorry. Stay inside. 1.5 ahead. Hey, maybe uh, the pressure will get him to make a mistake. He'll see that uh, 1.5 lowering maybe and cause him to push a bit too hard. You never know. That's the same can be said about me. Take I see that number lowering and I try to push too hard. Or you can pass me in the back stretch if you can. P6, the lap time was at 54.3. Thank you. Thank That's you. a loose race car. Got on it a little bit hard. In front is now 1.4 seconds. It never hurts to be polite. Not at all, buddy. Especially in the big boy races up here. Not a bad race overall. We had a couple of cautions, but still got green flag pit stops, and assuming this goes to the end, nice long run. Survived the uh, Arca break earlier, which is nice. I'm gonna slid through that whole corner. Not very good. I feel like uh, my tires are starting to feel the heat. Starting to take its toll that I was have been pushing so hard. Yeah, that was not a great corner. Did he get tight? Almost at the wall? I think he might have had to lift off there. I gained a couple tents on him this straight away. That last lap was a That's what we eight. need. We want a chance. One second ahead. We're going to start getting his draft now. Louis struggling. Maybe we do have a chance at this. Five left to go. Uh, there we go. How about it, Shamu? You're reeling, Harris. In the gap is 0.6. Pushed wide again there, it looked like. Damn. 
be on the radio. Dude, what is wrong with you? Sorry, I'll give you the inside. I'll get you on the next straightaway. Sounds like the leader having some hey, trouble with lap traffic. I was trying to call you to negotiate the overtake. You didn't want to listen on the radio. And I was trying to run a little line looser than I need to. Hit the outside wall. So don't ask me what's wrong. You're not, con you know, you don't want to talk on the radio. So I don't know what to tell you. All right, we're here. Hey, what's the number? I might need it. I'm next. No, this is the number one car. Try to negotiate an overtake with the number one. Want to talk? No, I was, I was, I was asking for your number because I need to call you. I'm next to Bethany. Well, you shouldn't have to guess if you're behind me. JD, if you just do less talking and more driving, you probably be better off, man. Just run your line. They are arguing a little bit. I am trying to focus on my race. Now this could get close. Two tenths ahead. I'll go on the inside, right? Yeah, thank you, Miguel. Here to go. Here to go. Oh, almost got the wall. I'm pushing hard. <laughs> thank you, man. Two to go. I lost yeah, a little bit doing that, though. That? I probably shouldn't be. One mile backstretch and it squares it off. Left. That lap time was 55.2. Sometimes it's just car language, man. It's, it's how it is. We just have fun, let's go. I don't think so. I kind of lost steam here. I'm trying to catch him. Mello, I'm not going to fight you if you get up here. A little bit of a slower corner. Ooh, he gets loose a little bit. I will follow his draft. One Come flag, to the white flag. flag. White flag, one more lap. Oh, wow, I got really loose. Thanks There's not much guys. more of my car is uh, really to give me here, unfortunately. Uh, I'm just going to stay behind you, Mark. Hey, good run, Dan. Good win, buddy. Uh, I tried. We got close. Not quite. Thank you, man. You too. Hey, Dan, let me tell He's me six, what though. I need to do different as a lap down car okay. other than hold my line. You just told me what is wrong with you. There are you, and so I will say this in text chat then. I try to reach out to you on the radio, man. man. Well, first, I had you muted because you were talking. All right, not going to listen to that. We've heard this before. We'll take our P6 and probable loss of I rating, but pretty much breaking even and much better than I thought I would do. So I'll definitely take it. Get it slowed down. There's the damage on the back end. And we'll see how we got that and the other things that happened this race. 
in just a bit. 85-72. Still on that right rear, that's for sure. Just this a little bit. And take a look, starting from lap one. Let's see what brought out the cautions. All right, lap nine. Come in to, to come together in the corner there. That was ahead of us, and this was the wreck. They gained us a, a few spots. Twenty-four was already about running into us. Uh, we're slowing down for the accident, and they just drive into the back of us for no real reason. And they got the worst of it, though. Yeah, I just, I, I'm just trying to slow down for the wreck, and uh, they're not quite ready for it, I guess. Thankfully, we didn't get sent sideways. Just the 2x. It was a 2x, right? Yep. Still ended up a 2x. And pit road. We got some collisions on pit road. Oh, yeah, look at that. 14 and a 12. Oops. No, stop it. And lap 15. Kind of a situation where everyone's getting stacked on top of each other. Was this a caution? I'm not sure. He gets spun though. And then for some reason just takes it right back onto the track. That was dangerous. Stop. I do not want to <laughs> participate in that argument. Uh, and then I don't know what that was. Caution's out already, and then the 14 just not paying attention, I guess. Or was the caution out already? Yeah, no, it was. Weird. A little bit of contact there. Ten's got uh, some damage from it. Seventeen gonna find some wall. 17, gonna find some wall. No? Oh, he tricked me. Psych. No wall. Ooh. That's unfortunate. This was coming out of the pit lane. See, I did this exact the same thing before in this, in this combo. Um, probably one of the most embarrassing things that I've ever done. I almost wrecked into the leader as they were coming by. Thankfully... Uh, they missed me, but it was very embarrassing. So I cannot uh, can't talk down on that guy for doing it because I've done it before. It's tricky when you're trying to come out of the pits fast here, and uh, you got a bit of a tight corner, a flat tight corner you got to take. So lap 43. This isn't looking like anything. We'll skip ahead until we see something noteworthy. I'm getting loose and finding wall. I don't know if we're going to see much else. Isn't this past whenever all the uh, cautions happened? It is, so probably just wall hits to the end uh, in this one. 12, loose in the wall. Yeah, that's it. And I guess uh, I can go back and look at the restart I had since that actually was really important for us. You know what? Oh, this was the green flag pit stop. But the restart was further back. Right here. Alright, so. Nine had a really bad start on the inside. Couldn't see the leaders at all. So we get past him. We had a really good jump, so we get around the 8. Get to the outside of the 7 just about. Yes, we did. Probably went a little bit hard there, but we are able to get enough of a run to stick to his outside. So we gained 3 spots. 
on the restart essentially because we are able to clear the seven here in just a moment. Oh, he gets a little bit loose down there. That helped us out a lot. So that really worked out. And with how important track position is, that was great for us. It really ended up being a very helpful to start on the outside lane and see the uh, leader. Not have uh, anyone in front of us that was uh, slowing us up. Because we got stuck behind the 9 a couple times before, I think. It was having struggles on the restarts, it looks like. But uh, that was good. That was good for us. Gained us a couple spots in the restart. And uh, we go from 11th to 6th. So we'll see what the official race results page has to tell us. We'll lose a tiny bit of eye rating, but essentially break even, I think, according to the estimates. Here are those numbers. 2580 strength of field and a P6. Minus 6 eye rating. So not quite the negative 7 it was predicting, but pretty much the same thing. 124 championship points. I'm always happy with uh, about 100 or above. So that's a solid finish. Two incident points, unfortunately, when we got uh, booty bumped <laughs> through the wreck, but could have been much worse. Man, look at that fastest lap time. 52-2. We didn't even get into the 52s. <laughs> Not quite. In fact, we were really slow compared to the fast times up there and stuff like the 52-4s and 3s. I guess we were kind of around the 9 and the 16. 16 is pretty fast. But we were able to pull off a good finish, so I'm happy with that. I think we probably had a top 5 if I didn't mess up the green flag pit stop, but it happens. And we also uh, benefited from the guy having the mistake on pit exit, too. Which, uh, not, I don't remember who that was. I'm not sure who that was, but they were ahead of us. I know that. So, that will do it, I guess for Indy in the Xfinity car. Be open. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.